All right, you guys, thank you for joining us again. Uh, it is day seven of our um, daily top seven at seven. Uh, today is Saturday, January the 7th. Uh, we are beginning, as usual, right at the very beginning with uh, today's tech tweets. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into those right now. Uh, looks like black holes can lurk unseen by telescopes behind gas and dust. Who knew? Two black holes were found by their high-energy x-rays. Go NASA. Uh, let's see. National Geographic killed off completely in the early 1900s. About 500 wolves now roam greater Yellowstone. Uh, let's see. Happy birthday, Stephen Hawking. If you feel you are in a black hole, he says, don't give up. <laughs> uh, oh, the places I'll go. It looks like uh, this is uh, just more from yesterday. Looks like we're starting to jump into uh, our, our repeated stuff. Um, anything new? Uh, yoga pants that change colors when you work out so that people know you're not just wearing them to Trader Joe's. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Mercury seen in silhouette, lower left as it transits across the face of the sun. Ooh, that must be it right there. Interesting. All right, let's jump into uh, our world news, see what's uh, going on outside of our front doors. Let's see, here we go. Ivory Coast Defense Minister and others freed by mutinying soldiers. Boake, Ivory Coast rogue soldiers, allowed Ivory Coast's defense minister and dozens of others to leave a house where they had been trapped on Saturday when some mutineers appeared to reject aspects of a deal intended to end a two-day revolt, a Reuters witness said. Uh, second story of the night. Uh, Iraqi forces close in on Tigris in Islamic State stronghold Mosul. Iraqi special forces closed in on the Tigris River that runs through central Mosul on Saturday, advancing in parallel with other troops and forcing Islamic State to retreat in its last major stronghold in the country. So that's happening in Iraq. Iraq's, Iraqi special forces. And they are pushing out the Islamic State. Okay. And there's other people helping them. All right. Uh, third story of the night. U.S. Uh, US official in Mexico shot in chest in stable condition. A U.S. consular official in the Mexican city of Guadalajara was shot by a gunman but was in stable condition, Mexican authorities said on Saturday, prompting the FBI to offer a reward for information. Mm. Well, I hope you pull through, buddy. All right. Um, fuel truck blast kills dozens in North Syrian border town. In Beirut, a fuel truck... Um, sorry. A fuel truck exploded in the busy center of a rebel-held town near Syria's border with Turkey on Saturday, with Turkey on Saturday, killing dozens of people and wounding dozens more, sources said. Our fourth story of the night. Saudi prince readies strategy if clerics oppose reforms. Report. The young prince leading Saudi Arabia's drive for economic reform has laid out a three-pronged strategy to avoid a backlash from any religious conservatives, conservatives opposed to his plan, according to remarks reported by Foreign Affairs magazine on Saturday. Iraq says deal reached over Bashika, Turkey, says issue will be solved. Iraq's Prime Minister Haydel al-Abadi said on Saturday an agreement had been reached with Turkey over an Iraqi demand that Turkish forces withdraw from the Bashika camp near Mosul in the north, in the north of the country, Iraqi State TV reported. Let's see. Thousands of Mexicans protest against gasoline price hikes. Mexicans angry over a spike in gasoline prices took to the streets of Mexico City on Saturday after days of protests spurred looting in hundreds of stores, resulting in over a thousand arrests in Latin America's second largest economy. Mm. I believe that was our seven stories of the night. We'll throw in one more. Germans Gabriel says a European Union breakup no longer unthinkable. Germany's insistence on austerity in the Eurozone has left Europe more divided than ever. And a breakup of the European Union is no longer inconceivable, German Vice Chancellor Sigmar Gabriel told Der Spiegel magazine. All right. 
That was some exciting world news. And we are going to wrap up the day with your daily trends. Uh, looks like today's searches uh, jumping in at about 2 million plus searches. Sanford Fleming. He just wanted everyone to know to agree what, on what time it was. So I, I can understand, Fleming. Uh, Jennifer Hudson is coming in at number two. She's the best coach ever. Uh, she's going to be on The Voice or something or mm, something. Anyway, she's she's trending with a million plus searches. Let's see. Let It Shine is coming in in uh, normal numbers at about 100,000 plus searches. Let It Shine, Gary Barlow's awkward talent show lacked razzle dazzle BBC one blah blah blah. All right. Uh, Arsenal. Uh, with 100,000. Arsenal break Preston Hearts as Oliver Girard scores last-minute winner. Arsenal flirted with danger before coming up from behind to win a hugely entertaining cup. Sounds like soccer. I mean football. My bad. All right, uh, number five search. David Bowie, the last five years was a treat and a treatise on music's something or other. There was a telling moment, six minutes in David Bowie's, the last five years, uh, well, apparently people are searching about him. Uh, let's see, uh, with 50,000 plus searches, Daisy Lowe shows off her endless legs as she returns to the catwalk. Well, uh, looks like we get a little thigh there, aren't you happy? All right, Preston North End. Preston 1, Arsenal 2, uh, FIFA Cup? I don't know. <laughs> FA? What is that? Uh, FA Cup third round. Boy, oh boy, making making a lot of friends tonight. Uh, Oliver Girard, it's late winner. So apparently, apparently this is uh, wrapping that up. So Preston was the, uh, the second... Uh, they came in second, which I believe is the first loser. Sorry, Preston fans. It looks like Arsenal is taking it for the evening. All right, you guys, it is, um, it's the end of the show. I wanted to say thank you guys very much for, uh, for watching. If you do like the show, leave some comments, uh, like, and subscribe. I believe that this is the end of this particular production. I am thinking about doing a weekly top seven at seven where we take a lot of facts like this and just kind of stretch them out and uh, do it on a weekly basis as opposed to a daily basis however if you are interested in seeing a daily show that does have much better production values let me know because if you are willing to watch it i am willing to make it so have a wonderful night and maybe i will see you tomorrow